Good morning everyone, and I am back with another Roblox RPG tutorial, and today we will be doing one of the most requested, probably one of the most requested tutorials, and that is the RPG Monster. Um, so I went ahead and I took one of the ones I had from over here and modified it for you guys. Um, so I'm just going to break it down and show you how to configure him, I guess you could say, so that you can set him up for your game. So, um, basically, the way these monsters work is they're, um, basically a normal player model holding a sword. Um, so pretty much you can have any type of humanoid monster you want. So, like, thieves, goblins, etc. I don't know why I still have him named a goblin when he doesn't even look like a goblin, but... Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to configure this guy. And let me know what you guys think. I tried something a little different. I'm actually recording in 720 to see if I can get a little less lag this time around. So let me know what you guys think. I... I don't know, if you like it, let me know, or if you like the HD and don't mind the lag, let me know that too. So, this is the inside of the zombie, and honestly, like, this is pretty dang complicated. I didn't even make, like, any, <laughs> I just, basically I got this guy off free models and tweaked him to what I wanted him to be, so... I actually uploaded him as a shared model, and I will show you how to get that after we're done um, configuring him. So I'll show you how to do everything with him, and then I'll show you how to get him so you can have him in your own place. So, but basically, I guess we'll just go down the list. This is the body colors. This is what you change to do what it says, change the body colors, so... If you want a zombie, you can change them all to green or whatever, and this will affect his color, obviously. Um, the next script is the animate script, and you do not have to change anything in there. Don't worry about that one. Now, the XP gold script. This is probably the main one that you will want to change. Basically, what this one does is when the monster dies, it will look for who killed it, and give them gold and XP. So, yeah, as you can see, basically does all that. And then the only two things you'll want to change here are these two, well, I guess three technically, are these two values and this one. So this first one is how much gold will be awarded. And right now it's set up on a random number. So when you kill this goblin, you'll get a random amount of gold one between 1 and 20 um, and then it grants 10 XP you can so let's say you watch my last video and you decided that you did want like a kills thing on your zomb on your leaderboard you can come down here and just like copy and paste the XP line and you can just change this to kills and this to kills and change this to plus one and then you can say kills and then that will just increase the kills value by one obviously if you want a kill counter in your game but I am going to remove that because I'm sure most people won't have one of those um, if you want to award just like a base amount of gold just get rid of this and replace it with a number so now it will just give you 10 gold um, but I, I like to keep it random. I think it keeps it interesting. Okay, next is the follow. This is the other one you're going to want to change. Really, the only need you, number you need to change is this dist variable. This is basically the monster's aggro range in studs. I think it's in studs. So right now, when you're five studs away, he'll aggro onto you, which is really not that big of a radius. <laughs> it's probably a little bit further out than, like, his sword. Maybe, like, a stud or two. So I have these guys set to really small 
because over there they're also close together but you can change that so they can pretty much come and attack you from across the map like if you have a zombie game for example um, and of course you can get rid of the sword I'm pretty sure you just delete the sword and the sword carrier script and that should get rid of the sword don't quote me on that though <laughs> if you want like zombies um, okay health regen you can change this one this one just re this if you just change this number here it will set it will edit how much health regens over a period of one second you can completely take this script out if you don't want their health to regen or you can change the wait time or the amount of health that regens after each wait period um, the sword you need the sword to be named the same thing and um, Basically, I'll be honest with you, the sword is kind of just for looks. Like, as you can see, <clears throat> excuse me, it has no script in it. So really, if you want a new sword, like if you'll notice how this guy has this kind of curved sword, and then these guys over here have like the standard sword, all you really have to do is spawn in the weapon you want and just copy and paste in the mesh that way you can keep the sword where it's supposed to be and everything but you still can get different looking swords um, next is mode you don't have to worry about that respawn um, basically the script every second it will check to see if the zombies dead if it is it will respawn them every five seconds um, you can change the respawn interval if you want, but basically this means potentially your monsters will take six seconds to respawn, depending on what, how long it's last been since it's checked to see if it's dead. Um, so yeah, you can just change this weight to, um, for how long it will respawn, till it respawns, sorry. Um, this is just a sword carrier. You do not need to change anything with it, but I'm pretty sure if you do delete it, you'll have a zombie. Maybe we can test that. Um, and then this is just the head and the arm and the torso. You don't really need to change anything. Although, here's the deadly script. Now, this... Hold on. Yeah. The deadly script is actually where the damage will come from. So the player actually does not get hit from the sword. If you notice, the sword, it passes right through. Um, I guess if you wanted to, you could put the deadly script in the sword and just put the sword to collidable. Um, but for some reason, I put it in the arm. I'm not too sure. But basically, this is where you edit the monster's damage. So right here, this goblin only does two damage per hit, which isn't a lot. So basically, every time you touch his right arm, you'll receive two damage. And yeah, if you want, you can put that in the sword or just leave it in his arm, whatever you want. Um, like I said, this is kind of your monster. Don't mess with this stuff. Those are his joints. And then these are the meshes. So if I delete them... He turns back into a block guy. Of course, if you want, you can always change the... Where is it? The Here it is, the mesh ID. And it will change, like, the, the mesh. So if you want, like, what's some of the other meshes? The knight outfit or something. You just change the IDs. Or you just copy and paste in new of these. Um... But yeah, that's pretty much it for setting up the zombie, I'm pretty sure. Of course, if you want to change his name, you just change the name of the model. Um, actually, let's go ahead and live test the making him a zombie thing. So let's get rid of these two and see what happens. I'm going to cut these just in case it doesn't let me undo. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, looks like he still works, and he's causing damage to us. The only problem is he doesn't really stick out his arms if you get rid of the sword. Oh, but he killed us. 
So yep. Yeah. All right, now I'm going to hop in and show you guys how you can get a copy of this guy. Hey guys, so here we are at Roblox. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how you can get the model. So go ahead, come up here to the search bar and just search my name. It's the same as on YouTube. I hope it will just search people since I, oh my gosh, this thing searches different stuff every time and it kind of ticks me off. So make sure you click on in people or else it will search the catalog. You can see I'm online for now. <laughs> then you can come over here to my page. Um, why don't this go low? I was holding down the wrong button. And then you can go to creations. And then it's just right here and then you just click on it and take one and you'll get a copy of the model so I really hope this helped guys I really hope you um, enjoyed this tutorial I've been getting requests for this one for basically forever <laughs> so I hope it helped out if it did please be sure to hit that like button and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button Post a comment down below for any um, suggestions or any questions you might have. If you're getting errors, please be sure to post the output. Um, I'd love to help with that, but you have to put the output or else I don't know what's wrong. Um, I can't, I don't really have the time to just sit and stare at hundreds of lines of code all day. But um, anyways, guys, thank you. And I will see you later. Goodbye. Have a nice day.